This is Showcase, and coming up in this week's program. The Gender Mark Bellboy Challenge Ocean Swim saw a sold-out field enjoy perfect seas in Nelson Mandela Bay. And for some, throwing a disc is the ultimate sport. It's the South African Ultimate Frisbee Championships in Stellenbosch. One of the country's biggest and toughest open water swimming events, the 2019 Gendermark Bellboy Challenge, took place in Port Elizabeth recently. The man behind it all is Michael Zutmilder, who tells us more. This is the 10th Gendermark Bellboy Challenge and round one of the Open Water World Tour. The first of a three-year contract to have this event as the unique event in South Africa. And yeah, fantastic start, sort of Mediterranean conditions for the swimmers for round one. And uh, from here they go to around the rest of the world. So I think we've put Nelson Mandela Bay on the map with this one. The Gendermark Bellboy Challenge has gained a huge following over the last 10 years and demand for entries in 2019 was at an all-time high. Open water swimming growing in leaps and bounds. We sold out about three weeks ago and this is a great indication of, of the future in open water swimming. And yeah, in Nelson Mandela Bay we have the best open water swimming conditions in the country so we expect a lot of the open water events in Nelson Mandela Bay to start doing extremely well. While the good days in Nelson Mandela Bay are second to none, it's no secret that if the wind comes up, the ocean can get very angry. So what were the conditions like for this year's Gendermark Bellboy Challenge? Absolutely perfect conditions. You're going to battle to get better conditions than this for an open water swim. And we see that very fast times, uh, everyone finishing the race and very safe swimming. So yeah, we're really happy with what we got this year. The Open Water World Tour has 10 stops, with just round one in Port Elizabeth and round two in California in June, the only two rounds held outside of the continent of Europe. So the Gendermark Bellboy Challenge attracted most of South Africa's top open water swimmers and a good number of international competitors. Yeah, it was great to have the internationals here. The Open Water World Tour is a more social swimming tour, sports tourism. So we hope that we're going to get more of them coming and it's, it's more the social swimmers, not your elite crowd. Fantastic to have the caliber of swimmers we did have this year, but we'll see in years two and three, we expect that to grow quite substantially. So today we had prize money of 76,000 Rand and we see that in the entries. We had South Africa's champion 25K swimmer and holder of five world records, Tyron Fenter. He did the bellboy about eight years ago and he's back again. We also had Radul Malik, he was here. He did extremely well. I think he placed third today. And then the two overseas, we had uh, Xavier, and Andrea, it was great to have them. But yeah, I think, and of course, Gary Albertain, the winner. He's a legend in South African swimmer. I think he held 17 records at one stage. And for him to come through and win it for the second year run is absolutely amazing. One of the star performers in the water was young Amika de Yaga. The recently crowned Victory Sildorum from the South African Life Saving Championships showed her immense swimming talent by clocking the fastest time of the day. At 57 minutes and 42 seconds, was the fastest time recorded in the last four years. And she was six seconds ahead of South African swimming legend, Gary Albertain. Today we saw Amika absolutely flying in this event and that, that bodes well. She's one of South Africa's top lifesavers, does extremely well on the world circuit. And now I think today she's shown that in open water swimming, she's gonna become the next one to watch from South Africa. So we do look forward to watching her and hopefully one day she's gonna make the Olympic team. It was absolutely amazing, I must say. We couldn't have asked for a more perfect day. I was just arriving this morning and looking out, it was like, oh, it just got me so excited. Hailing from St. Francis Bay, south of Port Elizabeth down the N2, Amica finished her schooling at Woodridge College, just near Port Elizabeth two years ago. She's clearly at home in the ocean. So what is it about ocean water swimming that she enjoys so much? I love I love that it's constantly different and changing and um, it yeah, <laughs> definitely takes the brain to swim in the open water because you've got to think the whole time, strategy, conditions, what to do, when to do, it's not just following a line up and down in the pool. I love it, it's just more exciting and fun. Aside from that mental focus required to perform at her best, Amika had put in an enormous amount of time both in the pool and ocean in order to have the physical condition to be able to win against such a strong field. Uh, a lot of training. I've been training especially for the open water season. Um, 
so yeah, I've been doing a lot of distance, which is awesome. Training in the pool is always a bit more boring than um, having this perfect <laughs> venue to train in. Um, but no, no, you got to you got to do both. I, I think it's a balance, definitely. As a long distance event, the swimmers in the Gendermark Bellboy Challenge are allowed to make use of seconds during the swim. The seconds provide sustenance in the form of some food if required, as well as encouragement and guidance on the course. So how important was it for Amica to have a second on the day? Very, very important role. Um, Hayden, my coach, your, no, I couldn't have asked for a better second. He was absolutely amazing. Um, definitely, he was my eyes during the race, which was your. Definitely a huge help. <laughs> so it's always hard to sight to the ball boy because it's you're, with the currents and everything and with you lying so low in the water, it's always always difficult. So massive help. And he also you're, helps motivate me. <laughs> 2018 champion Gary Albertain has swum the Gendermark Bellboy Challenge numerous times. Living in Pretoria, the 50-year-old does not have the luxury of training in the ocean. So what is it about the Bellboy Challenge that has Gary coming back year in and year out? I just love this venue. I love this event. It's, you know, it's a challenging event and I really enjoy the challenge and I think the conditions today were just absolutely superb. You couldn't have asked for better conditions, so it really makes it even more enjoyable. A vastly experienced open water swimmer with multiple wins in most of the country's top events, Gary is a master strategist. So what was his thinking ahead of this year's race? Well, I was just thinking if I can go out, you know, sort of first to the bellboy, relax and try and be in the mix, you know, try and be in, in the leading group and then see what I could do on the way back. Gary has excelled in all forms of swimming since cracking the big time back in the 1980s. Having been a multiple champion in the pool, won open water events like the Midmar and Sun City Challenge and of course ocean races like the Bellboy Challenge. So how does he assess the difference between the three swimming disciplines? Well, I think the three are vastly different from each other. Um, pool is obviously, I think, actually a bit, a bit harder. I don't really enjoy it as much. Um, river's different because you've got no black line to follow and you, you know, just swimming, you can sight a lot easier. It's normally a bit calmer. And then sea's vastly different because you've got a lot of different currents. You know, you've got the swells to contend with. If the wind's up, you've got chop to contend with. So, but really, I enjoy that the most because it's probably the most challenging. Although he was unfamiliar with many of the swimmers and their relative strengths, Gary's defense of his title began well enough with a good start, and he stayed within reach of the leaders going out to the bellboy. I wasn't 100% sure going out. You know, there was a little a group of us that were together going out, and I think I pulled away a little bit to, as we got closer to the bellboy, and as we rounded the bellboy, I could see Amika a little bit further in front of me. I was pretty sure it was her. And so I try, you know, put in a bit of a sprint to try and catch her, and then I just try to stay with her the rest of the way. Oh my word, I was so nervous, because I wasn't sure if Gary was a guy or a girl, or like, I wasn't, who, I wasn't sure who was behind me, so I was stressing big time. I was just putting my head down and swimming as hard as I can. For Amika de Yacha, the Gendermark Bellboy Challenge ticks all the boxes in terms of a physical challenge and the enjoyment factor. Absolutely amazing. Um, perfect event. I love it. It's one of my favorites. And you couldn't have asked for a better conditions, a better day. So much fun and I love it. <laughs> the top 10 men and women swimmers shared a prize purse of 76,000 Rand. Amika Diyacher and Gary Albertain walking away with 10,000 Rand each. They now lead the 2019 Open Water World Tour Series with Round 2 in California on the 8th of June.